Hello my fellow friends and followers, it's me again Retromania and in today's video we are looking back at the history of Pokemon from the very beginning all until today. Pokemon was created in 1996 by Satoshi Taijiri. Satoshi in his childhood had an insect collecting hobby and this was his inspiration to create D.I.P. Pokemon, what would become one of the biggest franchises ever created. His hobby would involve let insects fight each other and this was his blueprint, his inspiration to create D.I.P. Pokemon. The first games he created with Game Freak were called Pocket of Monster Red and Pocket of Monster Green in February 27, 1996. Slightly after, in October 20, 1996, we got the first Pokemon trading card game. It was a legendary release, amazing release. I'm not that huge into card games, special not into this Pokemon card game, but I can respect the size of this juggernaut. In April 1st, 1997, we got the first episode of the Pocketo Monster anime called Pokemon Kimi no Kimeta. Translated in English, this episode was called Pokemon I Choose You. Just one month later, in March 1997, we got the first Pocket of Monster manga based on the Pocket of Monster Red and Pocket of Monster Green video games. The manga was called Pocket of Monsuta Super Shura, translated this means Pocket of Monster Special. We would much later get the localized version of this manga with the name Pokemon Adventures. In 1998, Nintendo spent over 25 million dollars to promote Pokemon in the United States in partnership with Hasbro, KFC and others. In September 8, 1998, we in the West, in America, got to see the first episode of the Pocket of Monster anime called Pokemon I Choose You. In September 12, 1998, Nintendo and Game Freak released Pocket of Monster Yellow in Japan. The global localized version of Pocket of Monster Red and Pocket of Monster Green finally came to the West. Nintendo published Pokemon Gotta Catch Them All Red and Pokemon Gotta Catch Them All Blue in September 28, 1998 in America and slightly later in October 5th, 1999 in Europe. Those games would be later just called Pokemon Red and Pokemon Blue. What I find interesting is that we in the West first got the anime before the video games, but in Japan they first got the video games and then the anime and manga. It shows how different the market strategy was between Japan and the West. It was a great decision to market the IP different in the West and this strategy definitely showed results. Funny enough, Nintendo actually feared that the Pokemon IP was too Japanese for the Western audience, but Alfred Kahn, the CEO of 4Kids Entertainment, convinced them otherwise. Can you believe it? Without 4Kids, maybe Pokemon would never came to the West. Ok, to be fair, it would most likely come to the West, but much much later, with 4Kids pushing Nintendo to release the anime, what became a huge huge success, started the IP Pokemon and with this huge huge success of the anime, we actually got the games localized. In October 19, 1999, Nintendo finally localized Pokemon Monster Yellow in America with the name Pokemon Special Pikachu Edition Yellow Version, what will be much later called just Pokemon Yellow. In November 21st, 1999, Pocket of Monster Gold and Pocket of Monster Silver released in Japan. The localized version of those games came in October 15, 2000 in America and in Europe April 6, 2001, called Pokemon Gotta Catch Them All Gold version and Pokemon Gotta Catch Them All Silver version. In December 14, 2000, Pocket of Monsters Crystal version released in Japan. This was actually the first Pokemon game where Satoshi Tajiri wasn't the only director. Pocket of Monsters Crystal version had two directors. One director was Satoshi Tajiri and the second one was Junichi Masuda. The localized version of Pocket of Monsters Crystal version came in July 29, 2001 in America and in November 2, 2001 in Europe with the name Pokemon Gotta Catch Them All Crystal version. In November 21, 2001, Pokemon Ruby released in Japan. Yes, Pokemon Ruby, not Pocket Monster Ruby. It was the first Pokemon game released in Japan with the name Pokemon on the box. What makes this release so unique, so special and so different is the fact that this was the first game, the first first game in the series where Satoshi wasn't involved as the main director. Satoshi gave his baby away to his good old friend Junichi Matsuda who worked with him together on Pokemon Crystal. In March 19, 2003, we got Pokemon Ruby version and Pokemon Sapphire version localized in America and in July 25th, 2003 in Europe. Did you notice something? If you did, you have good eyes. The name Gotta Catch Them All was removed from the box. Now they are just called Pokemon Ruby version and Pokemon Sapphire version. 
Pokemon Fire Red and Leaf Green, the remix of the legendary games Pokemon Red and Pokemon Green, released in January 29, 2004 in Japan and slightly later in September 9, 2004 in America and in October 1, 2004 in Europe. In September 16, 2004, Pokemon Emerald released in Japan, slightly later in May 1, 2005 in America and in October 21, 2005 in Europe. Because Pokemon got more and more popular, we in the West would wait less and less for new localized English versions of those games. The director of the Pokemon Emerald version was Shigeki Morimoto. Yes, we got a new director for this game, but honestly, he was the best candidate. Shigeki Morimoto, the man, the myth, the legend, who created the battle system of all Pokemon games. Yes, he was involved in every single Pokemon game, from Pokémon Monster Red and Pokémon Monster Green, all until Pokémon Emerald version. He was also the guy who designed and created the idea of the legendary Pokémon, Mew. In September 28, 2006, Pokémon Diamond version and Pokémon Pearl version released in Japan, slightly later in April 22, 2007 in America and in July 27, 2007 in Europe. The director of Pokemon Diamond and Pokemon Pearl, it's Junichi Matsuda, and if that name rings a bell in your head, it means he was already in the video. He was a good friend with Satoshi and they together created the company Game Freak with Ken Sugimori. Satoshi and Masuda worked together as two directors in one Pokemon game named Pokéto Monster Crystal version. Does his name sound familiar now? Let's move on. In September 13, 2008, Game Freak released Pokémon Platinum version in Japan, slightly later in March 22, 2009 in America and in May 22, 2009 in Europe. The main director of this game is Takeshi Kawachimaru, who you see Game Freak every time it releases a third game of the same generation, be it Pokemon Emerald or now Pokemon Platinum, it would always be a other different director, most likely to save time, money and resources. Pokemon Heart Gold and Soul Silver released on September 12, 2009 in Japan and slightly later in March 14, 2010 in America and in March 26, 2010 in Europe. The director of those games is Shigeki Morimoto and if you remember his name, if that name rings a bell in your head, then you remember his contribution to Game Freak as the guy who developed the game system, the battle system in Pokemon, he's also the guy who developed the legendary Pokemon Mew. Yes, it's that guy. I'm happy that he finally got another game to shine, and the idea of the Poké Walker was amazing, brilliant. The Poké Walker was pretty much Pokémon Go before Pokémon Go. The Poké Walker would count your steps, and each step you make, you would actually train your Pokémon. You could only bring one Pokémon with you. It was a pretty cool idea, especially because Pokémon is a portable game for portable handheld systems, and each time you will bring your Pokémon, your Game Boy, with you. Let's say you go to your friend's house. I think it was a really cool idea for its time. It was really niche. I think it was really amazing, right, guys? Right? I mean, I like. I like the idea really much. But let's move on with Pokemon Black and Pokemon White. Those games released in September 18, 2010 in Japan, in March 4, 2011 in Europe and in March 6, 2011 in North America. Wait a second, do I see a Pokemon game releasing in Europe slightly sooner than in America? Yes, Pokemon Black and Pokemon White are the first Pokemon games what released in Europe before they did in America. The main director of those games is Junichi Masuda. Yes, Masuda is back, baby. Wait a second, do I see a 2 in the title? Yes, Pokemon Black 2 and Pokemon White 2 are the first and only Pokemon games that have a sequel with an actual number 2 to hammer it down so that we are all on the same page. Pokemon Black 2 and Pokemon White 2 released in June 23, 2012 in Japan and in October 7, 2012 in America and in October 12, 2012 in Europe. The director of those games is Takao Uno. Takao was an interesting choice, Matsuda himself, after Pokemon Black won 
Ed White won, appointed Takao to be the next main director of Pokemon Black 2 and White 2. Takao was mostly known to be a graphic designer, he designed many iconic Pokemons. I'll show a couple of them here right now with the magic of video editing. After Pokemon Black 2 and Pokemon White 2, we got Pokemon X and Pokemon Y. Pokemon X and Pokemon Y released worldwide, yes, everywhere, in October 12, 2013. Yes, boys, we are finally here, a Pokemon game, what released everywhere at the same date. Amazing. Woo! Yeah, baby! That's what I've been waiting for, that's what it's all about. Was only 17 years, but we are finally here. Pokemon Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire are remakes of the third gen games Pokemon Ruby and Pokemon Sapphire. Pokemon Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire released worldwide in November 21, 2014. I mean, quote unquote, worldwide, because they also released in November 28, 2014 in Europe. Come on, guys, I'm only 7 days. Why? Why? I mean, really? I mean, Game Freak, really? I. Why? Why? <laughs> I mean, even Australia got it before us, I mean, why, why Game Freak, you cannot be so cruel to us. The director of Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire was Shigeru Okmori. Shigeru was also involved with the development of the Pokewalker. Okay, this guy is unironically a legend, but let's move on. Pokemon Go released in July 6, 2016 in America, in July 13, 2016 in Europe and weirdly enough, after all of that in July 22, 2016 in Japan. Yes, we got to play a Pokemon game in the West before Japan did. Crazy, I mean, <laughs> that's so weird, to be honest, but yeah. Pokemon Go was a really unique take on the Pokemon franchise. It was a smartphone app what would motivate us to go outside to get some Pokemons. It utilizes GPS and our smartphone cameras to give us the illusion that Pokemon live in our world. It was a really unique take on the Pokemon franchise and the main director of that game of Pokemon Go was Tatsuo Nomura, but let's move on to the next game. Pokemon Sun and Pokemon Moon released in November 18, 2016 worldwide, or should I say quote unquote worldwide, because they also released in Europe slightly later, November 23, 2016. Ah, Game Freak, ah, Game Freak, ah. <laughs> Why five days later? I mean, what logic does it make? I mean, it's not like the release date, it's like uh, two or three weeks later. It's five days, guys. My head hurts. Let's move on. Oh, yeah, the director, totally forgot. The director of Sun and Moon was Shigeru Okmori. It's the same guy who made the remakes of Ruby and Sapphire. Let's move on to Pokemon Ultra Sun and Pokemon Ultra Moon. What are those names? I mean, I swear to god, those names are getting more and more ridiculous. Did, did someone, someone call me? me? Oh no, <laughs> not you again. I didn't call you, I just said, I swear to god, please now god, leave, leave this video, please. I don't have f***ing time for you. Come, Come on, on child, child. Why, why so, so cruel? cruel? I, created I created you after all. Okay, what do you want? Hey, hey you, make you make a video, a video about, about Pokemon, right? right? It's called Pokemon, not Pokemans. I got, I got a, a yellow, yellow rat, rat in my, my team. <sighs> you mean Pikachu? Yeah, yeah that it's Pikachu, Pikachu rat. rat. Really, really dope game. game. I'm, I'm leaving, leaving now. now. I, think I think I can, I can finally, finally get, get my, my first, first badge. So, so bye. bye. Have a Have nice day. day. Okay, let's move on. Where was I? Oh yes, Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon. They released in November 17, 2017. Everywhere, even Europe. Finally, Game Freak, it's learning. Ever so slightly. The game director of those games was Kazumasa Iwao. Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu and Pokemon Let's Go Eevee released worldwide in November 19, 2018. And it was the first console game, the first Pokemon console game, aka Nintendo Switch game. I think we all had questions how a mainline big Pokemon game would look on a big screen, on a big TV. I mean, sure, we did have a Pokemon XD game, but Pokemon XD wasn't really a mainline Pokemon game like Pokemon Let's Go. And the main director of Pokemon Let's Go was Jujitsu Masuda himself. Yes, Masuda himself is back. Yep, the guy, the legend, also worked on this game. I mean, he is a legend. He worked on almost every single Pokemon game I can think of. This guy really needs a life, I mean seriously, Pokemon it's a decades old franchise, I mean it's crazy how many games he worked on, I mean crazy, he's a legend guys. But there is one question we must answer before we move on and it's a really really important question guys, Pikachu or Eevee? What take, I like Eevee more, Team Eevee forever! 
Pokemon Sword and Pokemon Shield, released in November 15, 2019 worldwide and Shigeru Ohmori was the main director, he was also the main director of Pokemon Sun and Pokemon Moon. Pokemon Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl, released in November 19, 2021 worldwide and funny enough this game was directed by two people, yes two, not one. Juichi Ueda and Junichi Misuda worked together on this project, it was the remake of Pokemon Diamond and Pokemon Pearl. After that we got Pokemon Legend Arceus, it was the most unique take I have ever seen. It had a more semi open world monster hunter like approach, where you can move around even while we are battling other Pokemons, it was a really cool, really unique take on Pokemon. It even combined some sneaking up elements from Pokemon Let's Go games. It released in January 28, 2022, not that long ago, and the director of Legend Arceus was Kazumasa Iwao. And now we got Pokemon Scarlet and Pokemon Violet, and the release date of Pokemon Scarlet and Pokemon Violet is today. I will upload this video exactly on November 18, 2022 to celebrate the release of those games. Finally guys, we will get a full open world Pokemon game with so many possibilities and even with online co-op. The main director of those games will be Shigeru Okmori, I think he worked on more than enough Pokemon games to have a general idea what to do with this IP, so I have high hopes. But what do you think about the IP Pokemon, what do you think about the history of Pokemon and what do you think about Pokemon Scarlet and Pokemon Violet? Let me know down below. And with those words out of the way, I wish you all a wonderful day, Senara my good old friends, ciao!